Hello and welcome to Baiju's IAS. Let's get started with our daily quiz and look at question number one. Which of the following species can be found in the Panna Tiger Reserve? Number one, white rumped vulture. Number two, sambar. Number three, sloth bear. Number four, python. Let's first understand the context. An agreement has been signed between the two governments of Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. To do what? To interlink the two rivers, Kane and Betwa. Environmentalists as well as some politicians, they have expressed fear that the interlinking of Kane and Betwa rivers will destroy the Panna Tiger Reserve, which is in Madhya Pradesh. So which of the following species can be found in Panna Tiger Reserve? White rumped vulture, yes. Sambar, yes. Sloth bear, yes. Python, yes. D. All of the above is the correct answer. In fact, white rumped vulture, it is one of the critically endangered species. Now let's look at question number two. Which of the following is correct regarding the places of worship Special Provisions Act 1991? Let's say for example, this is 15th of August 1947 when India got independence. On this particular day, if this is a mosque X, its character cannot be changed to a temple or to a Gurdwara or to a church. That means the act of 1991, when P.V. Narsimha Rao was the Prime Minister, this act was enacted by the Indian Parliament. And Indian Parliament said, this act prohibits conversion of any place of worship and to provide for the maintenance of the religious character of any place of worship as it existed on 15th of August 1947, not 26th January 1950 when the constitution was enacted. That means the character of this place of worship cannot be changed and the religious character of this place will also be maintained. But this act 1991, it excluded the Ram Janabhumi Babri Masjid site and this act also shall not apply to ancient and historical monument or an archaeological site. That is why option 2 and 3 are correct. Option 1 is incorrect because of the date. It should be 15th of August 1947. So the option is D, 2 and 3 is the right answer. What is the context? This is today's The Hindu Newspaper. A petition was filed by one advocate, Ashwani Kumar Upadhyay which challenged this Places of Worship Act 1991. Now a counter petition has been filed by the trustee of a 350 year old mosque in Lucknow, terming this petition as mischievous. Let's look at question number three. Consider the following statements regarding the Gandhi Peace Prize and identify the correct ones. Gandhi Peace Prize is an annual award instituted by the government of India since 1995. Correct Ministry of Culture is responsible for this. 1995 was the year of 125th birth anniversary of the Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi. So this Gandhi Peace Prize is an annual award instituted by the government of India since 1995. So this statement is correct. The number of recipients is restricted to a maximum of three in a particular year. No, only one award is given. There may be a joint holder of this award. That means this award can be given to two individuals. They will be the joint holders of this award, but the award will be only one. This statement is incorrect. Statement number three, institutions and associations are not eligible for this prize. It is wrong. Even institutions and associations are eligible for this prize. So statement two and three is incorrect. Only one is correct. A is the right answer. But now let's stay with the Gandhi Peace Prize. Some interesting question here. Which one of the following is part of the jury to award the Gandhi Peace Prize? For example, this Peace Prize for the year 2020 is given to Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of the nation of Bangladesh. And 2019 award is given to Majesty Sultan Kabus, the former Sultan of Oman. But who selects these recipients? There is a jury for that and this jury is presided over by the Prime Minister. Then we have the Chief Justice of India, leader of the single largest party in Lok Sabha. Then there is Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla 
and the founder of Sulab International, Bindeshwar Pathak. What is the question asking you? Which of the following is part of the jury to award the Gandhi Peace Prize? These three are ex-officio members. Basically, Mr. Modi is the member of this jury, is part of this jury, not because he is Mr. Modi, but because he is the Prime Minister of India. Mr. Bobde is the member of the jury because he is the Chief Justice of India and then leader of opposition in Lok Sabha or leader of the single largest party of Lok Sabha. Speaker of Lok Sabha as an ex-officio member, no. We have two eminent persons. Apart from Prime Minister, Chief Justice of India, Leader of Opposition and two eminent persons, they together constitute this jury and this jury selects the recipients, the awardees. Now, out of these two eminent persons, one eminent person that the government has chosen is the Sulab International founder, Bindeshwar Pathak. And the other eminent person they have chosen is the Speaker of Lok Sabha, Mr. Om Birla. Which means Speaker of Lok Sabha is not the part of this jury. Ex-official members of this jury are the Prime Ministers, Chief Justice of India and Leader of Opposition and two eminent persons. One such eminent person in today's context is the Speaker of Lok Sabha. Tomorrow this eminent person can be someone else, not necessarily the Speaker. So four is incorrect. One, two, three, five, B is the right answer. Let's look at prelims 2013 question. Which of the following can be found as pollutants in the drinking water in some parts of India? Arsenic, yes. Sorbitol, no. Fluoride, yes. Formaldehyde, no. Uranium as well. 135 C is the right answer. What is the context? Contamination of groundwater due to arsenic and fluoride. This is today's PIB news. Now let's look at the fact of the day. Jal Jeevan Mission, Har Ghar Jal. What is the objective of this mission? The objective is to provide in rural India by the year 2024 safe and adequate drinking water. Through what? Through tap connections. That is the purpose of Jal Jeevan mission. In the year 2019, in the second term of Prime Minister Modi, create this ministry called Ministry of Jal Shakti. And this Ministry of Jal Shakti is taking up a nationwide campaign called Jal Shakti Abhiyan, Catch the Rain. What is the theme of this campaign? Catch the rain where it falls and when it falls. What is the period of this campaign? 22nd March 2021 to 30th November 2021 which means pre-monsoon as well as monsoon period of 2021. But where? Both in urban as well as rural areas of all the districts in the country. That is it from our daily quiz. Thank you for being with us. Have a great day.